Welcome back, guys, to game two of Avant versus Team Kamikaze in the Smite Oceanic uh, Invitational League. Uh, we are back here with game two. Uh, on your left there is Team Kamikaze. Uh, oh, sorry, on the blue side is Team Kamikaze, and the red side is Avant Guard. And here we it go with the in the bands. How are you doing, Husey? Yeah, I'm well, thanks, man. How are you? I'm pretty so we do have Thor as the first pick. Uh definitely. Ooh, how did he get through? I want uh so they banned yeah. Hmm. Thor is yeah. definitely very, very strong. Uh very potent jungler with that uh almost global ultimate being able to set up ganks very, very easily from the, the Gold Fury as well. Yeah, so Thor Thor and banned out last game, I guess Avant are confident enough to allow that to go to Team Kamikaze, that they they just let him slip through the bands. Um, and now we can see a bit of an odd combination here coming up from Avant with the Athena, Athena. and Nepet. Wow. Okay. Athena so, jungle. I think it can be jungle or solo or support. Uh, <laughs> I've yeah. seen Athena solo before. Uh, it does work quite well, actually, if you build a lot of damage. And rather than being on an island, if Spox goes... Uh, into uh, Sporks doesn't have to be on an island because of the ultimate from Athena if he does go in the solo I, I feel like it won't it definitely won't be support so like you said jungle possibly as well yeah um, Lona and Cupid picked up now for team Kamikaze the Bologna Ooh. really really strong you know a Bologna in the solo lane is going to be very difficult uh, for um avant-garde to counter because she does so many things so well like she's her uh scourge which disarms which is a new feature and also provides a massive amount of life steal she's got her shield mode which blocks attack she's got her hammer which does lots of damage her eagles rally does um provides lots of protections and damage boosts so it's going to be pretty crazy all right we can see now as well on her and agni locked in for avant-garde and so Agni going to go into the mid lane. Achita going to be playing him once again. Uh, no Poseidon. Um, looks no. Like banned or picked. So that's a little yeah. bit of an odd combo there. They seem and, to. Yeah. They seem to prioritize Agni over um, over Poseidon. Definitely understandable because of the different ways that each character is played. Um, but they do both have their strengths. However, I do think Agni does have a better. Uh, um, he's he's much safer because of the poke from Rainfire. Yeah, and we can see as well, Kronos locked in now from uh, Team Kamikaze and Dobek. Is that mid? A I mid think that's going to be a mid Kronos. That's okay. a little bit of an odd choice. And then Sobek probably going to go the support role rather than the solo, given that there is a Bologna there. And that's looks... And a Wheelix now from Ro coming in as the jungler. Um, so it's going to be Athena solo. You made the correct call there, Nightfall. And so these are our teams. And this is a bit of some funky team combos here. This is gonna be difficult uh to yeah. to analyze but I f it's great it's i love to see weird picks and having an athena in the solo lane is weird but it's good and we haven't seen a wheelix i think maybe we saw her once in the open letters but we haven't seen her in a competitive play here in oceanic yet yeah. as far as i'm aware so that's going to be very very good for those of you who don't know a wheelix is an assassin very very strong she can her, her mobility is great because of suku that's a pan panther that she can summon it gives her increased movement speed she can jump with it she has a feather step which gives her immunity for uh a, a, not immunity uh ground target immunity um so she could jump over something like a um like a Kukulkan ult, um, if she times it well. Also, she could pull enemies out of Medea um, yeah. when they're in a jump. And, However... Uh, but on the street is that Ro has practicing his Awelix. So, Ooh. yeah. Some, this will be interesting. Yeah, and you, you get the knock-up from... Um, yes. Well, yeah. Yep. And, yeah. Uh, however... These, these combos. The only knock-ups from Gib 
and nothing else. And uh, sorry, the moonlight charge from a Willix herself to try to knock yeah. up only knocks up when you are standing uh, when it hits them from behind. There's no jumps from Team Kamikaze. They all have dashes. So uh, also the Eagles rally from below though. Can, is that CC immune though? Yes, I. It, it is? Yes, it is. It is because I okay. used it to escape a couple CCs. Okay. That time in arena. Alrighty. <laughs> cool. So, yeah, there's no jumps. Yeah. Uh, so, that'll be very difficult know. for Ro to try to do. Um, hmm. We'll I have to see it, how it goes. Yeah, I think. I don't think Avant Guard would pick a god without a plan. They've de they've definitely got something to their sleeve, and yeah, they're just the, they're the kind of team. Every move is thought out. Every action is analysed two or three times before they do it. And I don't think that they would have, especially with something as strategic as picks and bands, I don't think they would have gone in a wheel if they didn't think it would work. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The... Uh... Yep. A little bit of a chew here at the moment. We can't seem to get out of the picks and band screen where we'll be doing our best to uh, get you to the game uh, we might have to go to a loading screen temporarily uh, but we will be back with you as soon as we can
Hi guys, we are back with our second game between Team Kamikaze and Avant Guard. Avant Guard are up 1 0 in this best of three series. This is game of two. I am Husey. Joining me for this match is the one and only, the lovely Nightfall. Oh, I'm lovely. Yes, yes, man. How is it going? I'm great, thanks. How are you? I'm great. This is game two. After a decisive game one from Avant, I'm super hyped to see what happens in this game two. Can Team Kamikaze come back? I'm so interested to see. Yeah, it looks like not everyone's connected. A cheat has just come in, so we should be kicking off fairly soon. But before we do, let's introduce our teams. On the left side of your spectator UI, fighting out of the blue side of the map and under the same colored health bars, we have got Team Kamikaze. Tompo is in the solo lane as Bologna. Liquid Renegade is your jungler, Thor. Divine is in the mid lane as Kronos. Redoxide and Gruff Dogger make up your duo lane as Cupid, the god of love, and Sobek, the crocodile of the Nile. And over there, the Chaos side, winners of last game, Avant Guard in the solo lane. We have Sporks on Athena. Um, Ro in the jungle as a Wheelix Ochida in the mid lane as uh, the Agni subfloor as Anhu in the AD carry position and supporting him will be Biggie on Gib. And we do see again the aggression trying to evade and invade, get some aggressive wards down. Five man grouping by Team Kamikaze. Yeah, Team Kamikaze know that they need to. Uh, dominate this game from the start if they want to have a chance against Avant Guard. They were shown last game what Avant can do if they are allowed to get even a little bit of an edge. So they're looking to, as well, to get some nice map control um, if they can. I'm not sure if they popped a ward down near that red buff. They are members of Avant um, covering it. No, they haven't placed one, but three wards already out from Avant. They spotted out a little bit of an invade from Liquid Renegade and Tompo here looking to take the blue buff, so Roe and Sporks just going to take the back XP camp, not wanting to risk a fight at this early stage of the game against a Bologna and Thor combination. Especially so, with the heavy hammer from yeah. Tompo. Yeah, so they're just going to steal at uh, blue camp now and get into lane a little bit earlier than the blokes from Avant Guard, so they're going to pick up some extra, um, a little bit extra XP here, maybe get some push under the tower, but uh, well played from Avant, not uh, you know, falling for the bait there. Yeah, they, they did that. Uh, they had an defensive ward uh, that Team Kamikaze did walk over, so Avant Guard were fully aware that they were there. And now, oh, actually, they're going back for their blue buff, so Avant will not have a blue buff, so that will be not great. Therefore, the Sporks is going to have a diff difficult time sustaining in that lane with mm. uh, no mana regeneration. Over here in the duo lane, actually, Graf Dog are taken quite low with an Impale. However, with that uh, passive, that does increase his protections uh, for every basic attack that lands successfully for a short duration. Yeah. Keeps him tanky and uh, in lane for a, l a lot longer than most supports. Yep, definitely. And now Ro actually here in the mid lane, just gonna just gonna leap some XP from Ochita. Uh, easy peasy and Actually, hit with Stasis Mode again, unfortunately. So, the thing in this mid lane is the fact that Divine is on Kronos. Now, Kronos is a very interesting mid laner. He has great sustain, which is why you see him normally in the the solo lane. Um, he's got a good CC, which is that stop time. It will slow and then stun. Uh, also, good damage from that uh, time rift from that uh, one ability. Um, the thing that he lacks is a massive burst uh ability on that ultimate. He has a rewind which will uh, regenerate his health and cooldowns to five seconds before, um, before he does that ultimate. So instead of having a massive burst damage like Agni or Poseidon or uh, Isis with a, with a very utility and also damage based, he's self sustained I feel is the word. Self centered. Yeah, yeah he's, he's not as utility base for the team, whereas Agony with that massive burst damage and that stun is it's very interesting to see. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh 
does come online fairly well late in the game. He's a little bit of area damage with the time rift, but it's like, uh, you know, not as great as you said. It's not like a Poseidon or an Arnie. We do have another stasis mode here. Stasis mode is, of course, OP, but we will continue on with the cast regardless. We won't uh, be stopped. Can't stop, won't stop. But yeah, Kronos, he's got a great stun with his stop time which all which slows and then stuns which is a great way of getting his team to catch up to the opposition and uh engage them on their terms liquid renegade as well on thor he's going to be as soon as he hits level five and he's able to use that anvil of dawn he's going to be jumping across the map landing down where you least expect him you can't always ward out a thor which is his difference from a lot of other jungles is his great distance um, ability with the, the Anvil of Dawn and typically he likes to hide behind like a Gold Fury or maybe even a little further back just to avoid that ward coverage and next thing you know he's landing on you using the spin to win and tectonic rift to keep you in place while the rest of the team collapses on you so it's going to be very interesting to see how Avant Guard counter that Mm-hmm. definitely Whew. so it's too early to tell what's going to happen around Gold Fury and that's going to be the first point. Oh, before Gold Fury, mid camps. How did I miss that? Uh, mid, the mid camp fight will, uh, like last game, define the rest of the game. Um, yeah. Uh, for those of you who did not see game one, Sporks was able to rotate from the starting lane a lot earlier than Tompo was. So he was included in that fight, and they were able to pick up mid camps because of that and the level advantage that Avant Guard had. Um, so as soon as they got mid camps, they were able to win a fight. No one died actually, um, but they did gain uh, a tremendous amount of XP and gold lead from that. They were able to pick up both mid camps, and then they just snowballed from that. And that's amazing that Avant Guard can get a, just the mid camps, both mid camps, and then just snowball the game from there. They're able to take a lead and then just demolish the enemy team. A small lead, and yeah. then they'll punish you for that. It's, yeah. Avant Guard, knowing why they're regarded as the premier team in um, Oceanic Smite at the moment. And yeah, it's just everything about them. They don't have a weakness, which is going to be really hard for any of these challenger teams to try and face. Is that they not one aspect of Avant's game which is, uh, which is not at least as strong as their other ones. And so they're going to have to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them the whole way and be equally as precise and strategic and um, use their brains and all the rest of it that makes a professional smart team. Definitely, definitely. And like you said, they have a weakness. They do... Everyone has a weakness. It's very difficult to find one in Avant, though. Um, all their gold pulls are massive. If you try to ban out any one person, it's not possible. Um, they'll just pick someone else. Uh, like say you take away all the supports away from Biggie, Biggie can can play any support. Uh, same with Ro. Ro can play pretty much jungler as well. Um, the most difficult one is Ochita. I feel he could be banned out possibly. Um, like we saw last game, he played Agni as well, and uh, from scrims as well. Watching scrims, I I know that he plays a lot of Isis as well. So if you take that away from him, he mainly only has um, Agni as well. But there's so many ban, uh, prioritized bans that it's not possible to ban any one person without giving them something else that's stronger. Which is yeah. one of the advantages to Avant. Yep. And it's, it, as I said, it's going to be really difficult for any team to go up against them. I think uh, the team that everyone is... Uh, thinks he's got the best chance at the moment is going to be a uh, slap and tickle. That game will be broadcast right here on Team Down TV 2 um, in week seven. It'll be one of the final matches played in this invitational ladder. So, you know, everyone get hyped for that. It's a little while away and we're going to see the competition definitely, I think, shake up a fair bit before then. We're definitely going to see some surprise matches, um, I'm, sh I'm sure, before the end. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be... It's going to be great. All right, since we're hitting another extended stasis mode here, guys, we're going to have to take another break. We're really sorry about this, but as all of you that have tuned in before know, stasis mode is, in fact, the strongest god in the game, and we must <laughs> obey its will. So we, sh we should be back shortly, guys, 
And um, we thank you very much for your patience. We are back, guys. Stasis mode has been vanquished for now. I'm sure we'll see another appearance of him later. Hopefully not, though, as we're bringing you back to game two of Team Kamikaze v Avant Guard in the Smite Oceanic Invitational Ladder. So, so far, too early in the game to see who's really doing what. A nice invade early from Team Kamikaze onto the blue buff of Avant Guard secured that objective from them. And speak of the devil, and he shall appear. Stasis mode is back. So, T, uh, sorry, Avant took the back lift camps there. They try, because they were denied their own blue buff, they tried to come back in XP wherever they can, and they know exactly where those locations are. Right at the start, they went straight for, for back camps because they knew that Team Kamikaze was going to get that uh, blue buff, and they didn't contest at all. So then they just settle for whatever XP they can find, and they took that left back camps. Uh, Team Kamikaze now taking those right back camps as well. I think uh, Avant will go, uh, that Row and a Cheetah will probably go for those back left camps, and the right ones have respawned as well. Um, yeah. One minute away from uh, uh, the mid harpies as well, so they can definitely do those camps and still get back in time. Yeah. Whew. All right, guys, we're going to go to our break screen. Are we? I think we're back. I... Oh, no, we're back. Back. So you guys just have to say something and then it'll stop. This okay, is... subfloor. It's so unpredictable. Like Rough dogger there, getting nicely aggressed upon by the boys from Team Kamikaze, but an excellent stone shield from Biggie, able to get his lane partner out of some trouble there. 
Cool, so mid camps in 40 seconds. Liquid Renegade yeah. looking towards that door lane, however, they are pushed back, so he's not going to find anything. Coming back to this mid lane, uses that Molni as a tomb and doesn't decide to go through with it. Um, so now that's his escape down for a short duration, however, I don't think. Oh, okay, so Ro and Ochita up level 5, whereas uh, Liquid Renegade, oh, Biggie coming in actually with that knock up, and now Liquid Renegade was pulled out of mid here and good burst there from Ro. Mixed in with Ochita as well. Biggie, great knock up to initiate that pull from Bro. Yeah. Uh, first blood going the way of Avant Guard. And this is really not the way that Team Kamikaze wanted this to start. And then they pick up the right hand side mid camps as well. So Avant Guard really. I mean, it's too early to call, but they've got a small advantage. And we saw what that did last game. And mm -hmm. it's going to take. Um, it's going to. Team Kamikaze is really going to have to be on point the rest of this game to uh, force a Game 3 scenario. Mm-hmm. It's, oh, it's gonna take a lot. Did, however, get those uh, uh, mid camps on the left there. And what is the gold lead now because of that? 600 at 3 minutes, 30 seconds in. So, uh, like you said, um, Avant are able to snowball a small lead wherever possible. So it's going to be good to see what they can do with this. And the warding last game was immaculate from Avant. Yeah. And we're going to have to see it again. Um, for those of you who missed it, there was two lines across right the right through yeah, the okay. middle of the screen. It was... Oh my gosh. Yeah, it was. <laughs> it's tremendous. And it's showing why um, Avant are as good as they are. Because it's not just that they're good players. They're a good team as well which I mm -hmm. think is equally, if not as important. Something I want to talk about is this solo lane. I should say. <laughs> the, the Athena versus Bologna. Athena is very good against Bologna because Bologna is mainly auto attack based and Athena has the passive where if she dashes and hits an enemy uh, with her preemptive strike, um, she will block one uh, auto attack. Which is extremely yeah. good against a mainly auto attack uh, character, uh, Bologna. However, her bludgeon deals quite a lot of damage. Um, it increases the the second stage of the ability, the overhand smash after the circle, per enemy hit with the circle uh, ability, yeah. as we just see there. So Sporks against Tompo is actually doing quite well, considering that Tompo is more of a fighter. Sporks is a lot more tanky on that Athena with that Mark the Manga. Good taunt just to force a tower hit. But you were going to say he's more of a lover than a fighter there for a second. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Okay, so Devourer's Gloves now both for, um, uh, for Subfloor and Red Oxide. Yep, so they're going to start stacking that early, getting some nice physical power and lifesteal boosts off of that. Subfloor, uh, sorry, Redoxide going to go back to lane a little bit quicker than Subfloor, and after he's got his purple buff, pick up some nice stacks here. So that's going to give him a small advantage, but any advantage that Team Kamikaze can get from this, they will take three-man grouping from Avant in the mid lane now. They are ready for these mid camps to come up, and they will Ooh, fight nice Team blink. Kamikaze for him. Oh no! Ro was out of range to get the pull onto Divine after Biggie uh, blinked forward and knocked him up. So he he used his ultimate, but he didn't pull him out of Maria because of the knockup. Oh. oh no! Okay. And you can it's see not... the left hand side mid camp is up. It looks like Team Kamikaze is waiting for Avant to aggress on a bit of a bait here. Nice work of the charge prey from uh, Gruff Dogger. There was the Fields of Love from Cupid. A cheetah picks up the vine. Bro picks up Redoxide. There's the Desert Fury from Subfloor. Liquid Renegade and Gruff Dogger are in a situation they probably don't want to be in. Gruff Dogger goes down to Row. He picks up a double kill. And Liquid Renegade extremely low here. Tompo finally rotating over and joining the party. There's the Eagles rally using the bludgeon. Gets does quite a bit of damage to everyone, but a cheetah hits him with a path of flame. Subfloor picks him up with an auto attack. And Avant takes the gold fury and a four-man wipe. That was extremely well played there by Avant Guard. Team Kamikaze were waiting for them, but Avant was still able to turn the fight in their favor. And that's the power of solo lane uh, Athena. She was able to ult across the map and get into the fight much, much, yeah. much earlier 
than uh, than Tompo on that Bologna, who tried to do his best to try to steal the Gold Fury or get a kill. However, the the uh, aggression juggling uh, from Avant was very very good, and none of them died, and now they are up five and zero. Oh. And Team Kamikaze there got a near perfect setup. He baited in Avant excellently. Gruff Dugger got a charge prey, and then Redoxide used his Fields of Love to zone out the rest of Avant. The thing that they, I think they might have got a little bit wrong was they pulled Biggie, whereas I think they might have been looking for either Ro or a Cheetah. So they weren't able to burst down the uh, god that they pulled, seeing as they got the Geb, and so they weren't able to get a pick and then have an advantage during that Gold Fury fight. Mm hmm. And now with the Gold Fury taken, they have 3,400 gold ahead, 4,000 gold, uh, 4,700 uh, XP, uh, excuse me. And whew, I want to talk about these, or actually over here in the solo line, Tompo does get a Grist on, takes a lot of damage, yeah, down to half HP, and now Ro is looking for something. Can he get the knockup? No, he cannot. That is the Eagles rally, and now Liquid Renegade here. Row is extremely low, down goes Sporks. This is a four-man rotation, and that's a double kill there. Uh, sorry, not a double kill, two kills there. One for uh, Divine and one for Tompo as well. And that's two kills there for Team Kamikaze. Very good rotation, however, it was four-man pulling uh, four out of five resources away from the rest of the map just to get two kills. Yeah, and that's showing that's showing Team Kamikaze's respect for Avant there, is that they need four of their own to take down two of Avant. And, mm -hmm. I mean, they'll be happy they got the kills, but I don't think Avant will be particularly worried, because, as I just said, it took four of them to kill two of them. And, mm -hmm. yeah, it's... Yeah, it's going to be... It's still going to be hard for Team Kamikaze to come into it, but it's, um, picks like those are going to be very important. And Avant can't let too many of those happen again, otherwise they're going to find themselves um, in a situation um, that they probably wouldn't like to be in, where Team Kamikaze is a lot oh. closer than they expect. Here comes Ro now, aggressing onto Tompa, who was quite far up. Oh, Attacking he missed the knockup. Almost under tower, misses the knockup, so his ultimate will not be effective if he chooses to use it here. A Tom, uh, Sporks over here as well trying to hold his lane against Tombo. They push some minions under tower, gives him a little bit of breathing room. They're going to rotate towards mid, but Liquid Renegade and Divine are grouped up there. They are ready to ro um, rock and roll if the need be, but these mid camps are coming up. Again, this will be the next big fight of this match, I believe. So after those two, uh, sorry, excuse me. After those two kills, Team Kamikaze were able to pick up the blue buff um, from Avant Guard. So that it was a good steal away from them, and I feel like we're gonna see the ultimate from Sporks here. And there's Liquid Renegade with the Anvil of Dawn, and here's the Fields of Love onto Biggie, and there's Sporks as well. And the Rainfire does go down. A cheetah just doing so much damage with those bombs. Gruff Dugger going in aggressive on oh, members of Avant Guard, but Subfloor picks them up. Look at Forks and Road. They are incredibly low. The live Tompo uses the Eagles Rally under Subfloor. There's the Stone Shield from Biggie as well. Sporks are still here. They still want to fight Divine. He's going to go down here if he's not careful. Here comes Tompo back into the fight now, but it's four on two in favor of Avant. It just, it's going to take one or two kills to swing this either way. Tompo being focused now by Uchida. There's the Scourge. Not going to find much. Biggie's using Rowan. Oh, the firebomb from Uchida. Takes it, stuns him in place, and then he's taken out by the fire damage there. Very well played from Uchida. Excellent accuracy being shown. Excellent courage being shown as well by Avant, sticking around, knowing they could survive that fight, and just putting Team Kamikaze in some really unfortunate situations. So no one on Avant died in that fight. No one. No one. Oh my gosh, the way that they play in team fights, the way that they exchange the damage around each member so they get uh, all low enough, not one person gets killed. It's amazing. Biggie stayed at the back around the, uh, uh, just to the right there in that little corridor beside the red buff. And he stayed there and he waited for a shield to come back up so that it could help Subfloor deal that damage. Or what it looks like Red Oxide is caught here. There's the shifting sands and the knock up by Red Oxide. He uses that beads and the rollout comes out. Oh, Fields of Love forced, actually. That's mm. very, very good there for Defensively, Avant. yeah. Yeah. So they know that that's going to be down for the next minute and a half. So it looks like they're grouping around this Gold Fury now. Maybe trying to pick up Divine and Gruff Dugger before they go in here. But 
Yeah, I tell you what, in that team fight before, yeah, that was all a cheater, man. He dealing that area damage to everyone on Team Kamikaze. Gold Fury now started by a They've already got a half health. Biggie flicks in and uses the Cataclysm. Rough Dogger getting a little bit low, but Bro takes down from Dockside. Subfloor picks up Rough Dogger. Here comes Liquid Renegade, uses the Anvil of Dawn, hits only a cheater, spin to win on Ro, but Ro picks up Divine in the meantime. Team Kalvakazi, they can't do anything at this point. There's the path, there's the flame wave, sorry, from a cheater, but Subfloor picks up Tumpo with an auto attack. Liquid Renegade what? getting a stream oh, below. Ro picks up another kill, and here Dear comes side. the Gold Fury on for the, um, <laughs> I'm lost for words. <laughs> it's, team fight. It's right, there's man. a Gold Fury. Oh. Avant Garde and over on the right, Sporks is, um, is back over there, just doing some damage. And Team Kamikaze, you got to feel bad for them. They, they, they've tried to engage. They're trying to counter engage, and no matter what they throw at Avant, Avant is just saying, "No, nope, nothing you could do. This is our game. This is our region. You're not taking it away from us." And the, t oh, the team fighting from Avant is. It's mesmerizing to watch. It's it's beautiful. It's like an art form. It's it's amazing to see the team fighting from Avant. Uh, and right at the end there, at the Gold Fury, uh, Liquid Renegade actually used his escape for damage against five people. So he kind of sort of killed himself there, unfortunately. And now they're going to take yeah. their blue, try to get whatever XP they can back. Because Avant are in pole position to take this game. 13 minutes into the game, they are 6.7k gold ahead, 9k XP ahead, and the warding is great from them as usual. Look at oh. the... look at, And even if you look at the kills, it's 14-2 to 2 in favour of Avant. who has mm -hmm. got 6 kills. sub has got 5 kills. And those are the main damage dealers on the team. Achieve's got 3 kills. I mean, it's... All of They're the people the that carries. need to be doing damage is doing damage. Mm -hmm. Everyone is just... Is hitting like a truck at this point compared to the predictions that Team Kamikaze has. Redoxide is is under his own tower and sub is not even in his lane. sub is... Um, grouping around these mids. Here comes three members of Team Kamikaze. That was a bit of a bait though, because here comes Tompo, uh, sorry, Sporks with the ult, but Subfloor picks up a kill, picks up a double kill. Here comes the left-hand side mid. Sporks is chasing after Divine uh, on his heels like a bat out of hell. Here come the right-hand side mid camps up as well. They are just starting to flash four, five-man grouping from Avant around these. They are just telling Team Kamikaze there is nothing you can do. Is this a fire giant? It's a fire giant. Team uh, Avant is starting the fire giant. No one on um, Team Kamikaze has a hog, but it's a little bit of a bait. Divine just get barely avoids the rain fire from Ochita. Now Rose going in hard on Divine, forced to use the rewind. The fire giant extremely low. Fields of love comes out from Redoxide. It's just a stun out. Uh, sorry, mesmerize almost everyone on Avant. Sporks gets very low. Ro picks up a kill on Divine. Redoxide running away, uses the hearts, but he's picked up by uh, Ro. Gets it, getting a double kill. Tompo running for his life now. That's a 15 minute goal of uh, fire giant from Avant. And only. <laughs> I can't believe it. I thought they were just going to secure those right head side mid-caps, but they looked at the items of Team Kamikaze, realized there wasn't a hog up um, at the time, and just like, screw it, we'll go for, we'll go for this uh, fire giant. Where's and they... A Gruff Dogger being kicked oh up under his own tower! Oh. Just disrespect from Avant. Team Kamikaze <laughs> getting, getting nothing at this stage in the game. Getting nothing. This, this is... This is scary to see. 15 minute golf, uh, sorry, fire giant, as you said, this, this is amazing, uh, 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 it's hard to describe, <laughs> and before just that, breathe, actually, Nightfall, just breathe, just <laughs> breathe, <laughs> okay, so Tompo was over there in the solo lane, and he got the tower down to a point where he could have got it, but he left it, he recalled, and I'm not sure why, maybe he thought that, um, they went, I think he miscalled it, he backed because he didn't know they were going to do fire giant, because who takes fire giant at 15 minutes other than a bar. Yeah. Um, so he backed thinking that they were going to come and kill him, come and kill him. So he wasn't able to get the, the, the tower. And then they took the fire giant and during it, the fields of love went down. So Cupid was there dealing DPS as well. And so was Cronus. Cronus was able to pick, Oh, that's a good cataclysm over the on liquid renegade. He's going to go down to Ochita there and Graf Dogger in a, Bit of trouble able to use that charge prey to get out of there and now they're looking for this uh tier one tower in the left lane tompo did actually get that tower over there in the solo lane 
And, uh, oh, actually, Sporks forces the dash out of uh, Red Oxide. The kills are 20 to 2. Uh, this is just... This is nasty at this point. Avant is just not taking their foot off of Team Kamikaze's throat. They're going to take this tier 2 Tensai Tower as well. I wouldn't be surprised to see a rotation to the mid lane while there is still the Fire Giant buff up and then moving on from there either to the right hand side tier 1 or to the Gold Fury. Just once again, just to deny everything they can to Team Kamikaze. There is the Anvil of Dawn. Was it from Liquid Renegade just to get back under tower? It was, yeah. And oh, then Grub Dogger got gets ball. another kill under tower. Uh, that on, was on the Grub tank. On, onto, I... onto the Sobek. Onto the tank. That was... That, that was the tankiest member of Team Kamakazi getting killed in less than two seconds. And I'm really liking this Awelix play from Ro. I really like, you know, we said before, they don't have many knockups in their team. They've got Geb, they've got Anho with his jump if he lands it correctly, and they've got Awelix's own knockup. But Ro has still made it work to his advantage. He's, he never hasn't even really utilized the Gravity Surge Ultimate that much. He's just used all the rest of Awelix's kit really effectively. And there goes mm -hmm. the Gold Fury the way of Avant. And yeah, it's just been excellent to see the way that Avant has basically disassembled Team Kamikaze. And, you know, Team Kamikaze's got a really strong team combo, except for maybe the Cronus in mid lane, but they've got Bologna in the solo. They've got Thor in the jungle. They've got Cupid as a carry. Those are all very top tier gods for their respective roles. And, mm -hmm. you know, still, like, they're, like, you know, Bologna, we're starting to see her as she gets more into play, banned a little bit more as well. Thor is usually first ban, and it you know, Avant said, whatever, do what you want. We've got something else up our sleeve. We can throw at you if you ban out. You know, you've only got three bans. There's 64 gods. You can't ban out everything we can play. It's it's very hard to describe Avant because, like you said, they're, it's, they're just such a strong team. Their team fighting is immaculate. Their warding is amazing. Look at the wards currently. They're, it's literally a lion again in, a, in the enemy jungle across the entire map. Uh, the macro play is good around objectives and warding and uh, utilization of uh, active abilities and items. Um, and the micro as well. In team fights, not one of them will ever die. Yeah. The only times that they died was because four team members from Team Kamikaze rotated to that solo lane and were able to pick up Ro and Vorks. And that was it. And now Avant, uh, the subfloor was around the fire giant, hasn't started flash again. He's going to be up awfully soon. Team, excuse me, Team Kamikaze need to force uh, a fight in their favor here and try and pick up this fire giant because if Avant picks it up, it's going to be game set and match because they're going to be able to roll through the phoenixes to uh and just end the game so you know here comes avant now starting the fire giant team kamikaze is in the arrow there's the charge play from grub dogger trying to um something here but he's not going to find anything yeah avant's going to back off a little bit here here comes liquid renegade and tompo anvil of dawn was used but he's just going to back out now is he, liquid he's renegade. not able to go in he they, can't go in without anything. Dying. Yeah, it's... No one can initiate. No one's strong enough to get in there and start anything. And it's Subfloor and Road just going to keep doing this Fire Giant while the rest of the team goes against Team Kamikaze 3v5. Oh, nice now, Cataclysm. Biggie is aggressed upon here by the members of Team Kamikaze. There's the Fields of Love. Not going to really find anything there. Ochita's raining fire from every direction. Here comes Divine using his rewind, but not going to be enough. Subfloor picks up Tompo. Ro picks up Gruff Dogger. Here comes the ultimate from um, Spork, uh, from Tompo. Ro gets a double kill. Only Liquid Renegade is up. They're not even going to bother with the Fire Giant. Avant's just going to go ahead and finish this. They know Liquid Renegade can't do anything to stop them. If he goes in too hard here, he will die. Here comes the right-hand side. Phoenix, is it going to go down? Everyone on Avant's very low. A well-timed Anvil of Dawn could pick him up, but Renegade was forced to use it defensively. It's not going to be up for another 30 seconds. Here comes and they're going the Titan to start. They're just going to end. Renegade getting very low. Oh, there goes Sporks down to the Titan. So not even any XP going to go the way of Team Kamikaze. Biggie gets hit by the spin to win from Liquid Renegade. He picks up a kill finally. Gruff Dugger going in aggressive, but the Titan's going to go down too much, too quickly. Game wow. two going the way of Avant Guard. And that is the end of our best of three series. GG's to both teams, but Avant winning game 
Uh, game one and two of this first match of the Smite OCE Invitational Ladder. And the extremely decisive wins. That's four kills and two of them were because they tried to end as fast as possible. And they were able to, with two towers, uh, sorry, one tower up in the in the duo lane, Titan is, uh, the Titan is much tankier with every structure still up. And they were still able to finish at uh, 21 minutes into the game. They took Fire Giant at 15 minutes. Yeah. That is scary. The warding is crazy they're they're fighting none of them died N not in one team fight apart from no. right at the end did anyone die that yeah avant are the scariest team fighters and just i can't yeah. say i can't say too much now because we haven't seen the rest of the teams play against them but right now avant-garde are top of the ladder yeah it's and team kamikaze is not a bad team they were um tried it until recently they came the t um, top three of the season one finals, but Avant just just made them look like just, Avant just look like they're on a different level of the competition. Avant looks like they're playing a different game to the rest of their own competition. Mhm. Mm and that's oh, I cannot wait to see the rest of this letter. It's going to be amazing, guys. For those of you who don't know, uh, the top four, I think it is. Uh, Yes, top yep. four from the Invitational ladder will go on to the Oceanic Pro League. Uh, and the Invite ladder is uh, nine weeks, seven games, I think? Seven uh, matches each? I, is it nine weeks? I thought it was seven weeks. Seven weeks? One of the two. Yes, yeah, seven weeks. Seven everyone weeks. plays each other once in best of three series. So you might see on your screen now, guys, first match of week one is concluded guard winning 2-0 tomorrow at 7 30 we have got silicon esports against exhilarated aka flagor's team for those <laughs> of you that don't know but yeah team exhilarated um is their official name and they're going to go up against silicon esports who came who placed first on the season one open ladder but finished fourth in the finals so um and and now here in this invitational ladder going to be a very interesting match exhilarated in the invitational ladder qualifiers show they were a team to contend with and it'd be interesting to see how silicon performs after the loss of their jungler maxon who has actually gone to avant garde and is one of their subs so it's going to be very interesting to see silicon's new team composition we haven't seen them since those season one finals in um, an official cast yeah so it's going to be very interesting uh that game tomorrow guys that's seven o'clock uh AEDT, which is Sydney time. Uh, so do join us then, same place, right here on Team Down TV 2. Uh, don't forget to follow the channel and join us tomorrow. Uh, thank you very much, guys, for watching from uh, me, Nightfall, from Husey, and from all the crew Woo. here at Team Down TV. Uh, thank you very much for watching uh, and enjoy the rest of your nights.